Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are touring Dr. Kung Fu Llama's amazing apartment build. I was actually gonna include this into the video where I show off more of you guys' builds, but since this is an even bigger build, I decided to make this a separate video on its own. So today she's going to be giving me a tour of her amazingly built apartment. And guys, she is truly one of the best builders in Overlook Bay. So I'm really excited to see what she has in store for us today. So if we look over here, this is actually the penthouse apartment. And over here, this is like a little pet station area. Oh my gosh, I love what she did with the space over here. We have like a little pond area over here as well. And then we also have like more pet beds and stuff as you can see. And then if we go over here, this actually kind of looks like a glass sliding door. And then if we go in here, this looks more, oh, we have more like pet stations. This is like a little bathroom and stuff. Um, this is the guest bathroom. I change this around a lot, like the colors. It looks really good. It looks amazingly built. Let me tell you that. I love how you made like this into like a different room. Since the penthouse is really big, I think this is truly like amazing, great use of space and stuff like that. So we just have a bunch of like pillars dividing like the different walls and stuff. Oh, I built this for um, RS Dragon. Did you, Rainbow? A shiny dragon oh my goodness this is so pretty i love this i actually remember seeing this on discord before i love the way this looks we have like a bunch of crystals and stuff and then also we have more use of like um the ice cubes as you can see so if you're looking for something that is translucent or transparent like this and is like a shape you can use ice cubes as well um obviously hiding the snowflakes and stuff so this is another pet area over here we have like a bunch of butterflies i also see that she put like different picture frames and stuff as well as lighting this looks very expensive honestly guys so then over here we have another design made out of like lights and stuff with the um, peppermint chairs in my house growing up there was like the hall of family pictures so that is what that is oh i see i see and then over here if we go into like this little area i love what she did this is like on like a stage type of thing so we have more like books and stuff another sitting area um, we have more stuff over here as well. This looks like this is the dining area and look how grand this dining table looks This is definitely made up of different tables as you can see because they're usually not this big But wow, look how nicely like everything is set like the table and everything we have candles Still set for Christmas dinner. I can see that I'm honestly ready to have another Christmas dinner. Oh my goodness <gasps> Oh my gosh, the, the pet can actually eat out of it. Oh my gosh, that's right, because these are actually in like pet bowls, as you can see. I love that. Wow, that is so cool. And look at this, we have like a great view of like the sky and stuff. If we go over here into like this area, we also have more of like a bookshelf sitting area. I love how this looks. I love the colors and detailing and stuff. Everything looks so well decorated. Pete likes to steal desserts, does he? I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. Okay, what else does um, Dr. Kung Fu Llama want to show me? So I built this like secret entrance kind of thing. Oh, it's a pet spa. I think this is a pet spa. We have like a music jukebox right here. And then we also have, oh my gosh, look at this guys. It's where you sit down and get like a pedicure and stuff. The wellness room, she says, this is a wellness room. Oh my goodness. And then we also have like a little yoga station right here as well. And then also like another sitting area. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> she legit put like a sitting area in the pool, guys. Look at this. And there's like a little area to go down and stuff. We have more shapes and like fountains and stuff this is beautiful how she made like a wall and pillars out of these right here and then also we have like more of like um these bathtubs as well very relaxing and then we also have like one of those pool type of beds we have like towels and stuff she used a lot of shapes to make all these type of creative things oh my gosh look she put a ball inside <gasps> like a ball inside of the pool we have another sitting area right here if you wanted to bring lunch and then also like this mirror this definitely looks like a mirror i think that's what that's 
that's intended to be. So this is pretty much the pool area. It is so cool looking. I love the way this looks. So that is it for the wellness room. So let's go ahead and go back into this room right here and follow her. And it looks like we are greeted with the living room. Okay, so this is the living room right here. This is very well built, um, very still decorated for Christmas as you can see. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> she created a bed out of the couch where you can actually lay down instead of sit that's actually really creative i love what she did right here oh my gosh that is so creative and then we also have like more like pillars and detailing and stuff great use of shapes and actually these lights these are actually lights but they look like windows as you can see we also have honey the unicorn and then also his evil twin as you can see right there and then we have like the fireplace area right here as well so if we go into the kitchen it is separated by these flower dividers and stuff we have a curved tv along with like um pet stations more pet stations as you can see throughout this house um, we have a mirror right here as you can see this is the kitchen this is beautiful I love what she did with the kitchen we have like two islands in here more pet beds we have some shelves up there as well and then all of the appliances that you need we have a cake right here very very creative use great another great use of shapes right here is the cake and stuff we also have an island as well and then if we go over here oh my gosh it's pac-man <gasps> is this like a little gaming area wow i love how this house is just divided so this is kind of the arcade wing i can see that wow oh my goodness look at this so if we go in here we can actually see like a bunch of computers as well they kind of look like arcade stations in a way and then if we go over here like we have a tv and more sitting areas and shelves of books and stuff oh she's going on top she's going on top of all the shapes oh my gosh it's parkour i love what she did at the arcade i love this like great use of shapes i know i keep saying that but oh my gosh i'm actually on top of it oh my gosh can you actually go up there <laughs> oh my gosh that looks like tetris over there actually oh my goodness this is so cool look at this it's like it looks like a trophy actually <laughs> donkey kong parkour oh wow look at that wow that is exactly what that is okay this is a bedroom i think oh my goodness wow this is amazing look we have like a castle right here and then we also have like another desk area with dual monitors we have a tv and it looks like it's being eaten by something like a giant clam or something i think <laughs> we have another um gaming station right here we also have this amazing detailing as you can see a lot of great use of like these balls up here for like clouds and stuff and then also she made a flag a flagpole that is really nice mario room and the bathroom is underwater mario is it oh my goodness look at this divider it's like bubbles and stuff and then we also have like colored plants oh my gosh that is gorgeous i'm going to color my plants pink now <laughs> So this is the bathroom. It's like an Mario underwater bathroom. Very scaly and underwater sea fishy looking. Wow, I love the way that looks. And then over here we have, this looks like Tetris. I think this is Tetris actually. Tetris stairs, oh my goodness. Yes, this is Tetris stairs. I knew this was Tetris. <laughs> okay, so moving on to this over here, we have like a view of like all of the apartments. Um, over here, it looks like this is like a bar area and like another sitting area as you can see i love the way this looks i really want to create a bar in my house too but i have no idea how i'm gonna do that just yet i love what she did with this huge rug right here oh my gosh look the bartender <laughs> the bartender is so cute i love this i love the way that this looks and stuff gryffindor quidditch lounge oh so this is harry potter themed i love that as you can see by the flags at the top it's very like harry potter looking too as well wow and then look over there <gasps> look at this rest in peace souls <gasps> Oh my goodness, we have a Halloween themed wall art right here. That is beautiful. I love this like great use of space too as well since this is a huge area. That's kind of a mess, Hello, Honestly, it does not look like a mess. It looks like everything is put together. Star Wars room is better. <gasps> I haven't watched Star Wars in so long, so I think that's like a spaceship. We also have these shapes that look like lightsabers. How creative is that? Which will it be, light or dark? I want to say light. <laughs> I want to say light. <laughs> 
Oh, and the floor is lava, is it? Oh my goodness. I've been stepping on the lava then. <laughs> I've been stepping on the lava then if that's the case. That is very creative too. I like this idea for like a kid's room and stuff. And then if we go into the bathroom, this is what the bathroom looks like. I love how every room has its own theme and stuff. This bathroom is really cute. It's very yellow and happy colors and vibes. I love the colors. So I always keep one room kind of empty so this is the empty room right here as well that's actually a smart idea because it's easier to make our way to the balcony as you can see and this is the famous balcony that we've seen on the discord server and look what she did guys she did like butterflies going around the pillars and stuff we have a lot of like these tropical types of plants and stuff guys this is actually inspired by cubby and i will leave her um butterfly garden video build down below because she did an amazing job on that build and i'm actually thinking about doing this too for um my apartment so this is beautiful we also have like a little bathtub in the middle of that and then we also have like this tile flooring and stuff great use of shapes right here as well to go outwards a little bit and look what she did with the shapes right here it's kind of like um stepping stones we also have like a beautiful sitting area right here as well as you can see you can eat lunch and eat dinner and even have a romantic dinner out here and i love what she did over here look at all these sofas look at guys these are custom sofas as you can see like these sofas are not even in the game we also have a fireplace right here or like a fire pit and stuff we have a bunch of lights and stuff lights and detailing and stuff very beautiful and you can actually sit on these like little um ottomans i guess you can say i love the way this looks oh my gosh i'm actually really excited to see what's up there it looks like she's been building kind of a lot over there <laughs> that is so creative these cushions are actually table mats so if we go up here i have no clue if this is zelda <laughs> i'm actually kind of scared what 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 is what's going on here so i built this i have no idea if this is zelda or not as a tribute to the ending scene in the original ghostbusters <gasps> oh okay so this is ghostbusters themed i don't know if you guys noticed but she's been changing her outfits and her looks throughout this entire video <laughs> to the different themes and stuff look how cute her outfit is i love it she has like the ghost busting thing oh my gosh i should probably get mine out too <laughs> I'll get mine out too so that we can ghost bust together. It was the day before they announced we were ghost busting during Halloween. Was it really? Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Look at this. We can actually go inside the pyramid. <gasps> wow. This is, this must have taken like hours to build guys just look at all these shapes and how they're evenly aligned together i'm sure that these symbolize something in the actual movie one more balcony for you Ooh, look at this all these lights and stuff oh my gosh look at this oh my gosh is this like a disco station oh my goodness guys we have a little jukebox up here, a disco station. Let me put this away because we're no longer ghost busting. And look at this, she kind of made like one of those like fountain type of things as you can see. Let's do best mates because we're best mates. <laughs> I like to watch the sharks eat people. Oh my gosh, I bet. I bet. <laughs> so she actually built this balcony off of like different walls. As you can see, it's not actually part of the apartment. Like this is a separate part out of the apartment. So yeah, that is pretty creative. And I like to see, I'm honestly excited to see more builds and stuff like she can come up with and stuff. Well, we have more pet areas and stuff. Oh my gosh, she's like doing levitation in the corner. <gasps> oh my gosh, please don't fall down. The lights are kind of tilted right here. So they kind of look like stage lights if you guys know what I mean okay she's looking at this wall but maybe there's something right here that I don't know <laughs> lol the sit point is through this wall it <laughs> she died okay I'm just gonna teleport to her so that I can like get to the inside of the build but I think that's everything that she has to show me actually this is probably the way out 
Actually, I think that is the way out. Yeah, that is the way out. That's why that looks like a glass sliding door because that is a way out to the balcony. But yeah, that is going to be the end of this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also thank you to Dr. Kung Fu Lama for showing me all these amazing builds and letting me do a video on this. Definitely go show her a lot of love in the Discord server and go like all of her photos and stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button because I love to have you part of our donut squad. We are so close to 7K. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.